Throughout history, men and women have been altering their bodies through all kinds of things with the food intake they bring into them. In other words, a child that's been emotionally, psychologically abused or is just emotionally young might be way overweight. And openly, we call that obese underneath medical concepts of that determination, that definition. We also have people, mighty like you and me, who in our early 20s to 30s spent a lot of time at health clubs. And in the health clubs where I worked out, I was also allowed to help the health club make money by teaching women and men self-defense. But the truth is what we're talking about in these aspects of typical healthy eating and healthy living and healthy exercise is body modification. But we go to a step further. We have absolutely stunning wives of men who start to modify their face because they want to be more glamorous. They want to be more interesting. We even have a woman allegedly in Hollywood, if the YouTube channels are correct, that has moved her entire body to look more like a feline cat. I guess her husband likes that. What I can say is that we also have these shows that highlight these gay men who get their sugar daddies to pay for them so that they can look like a Ken doll with false muscles. So these people are never considered for mental health networks. But we also have a contingency of people that are not pleased with their noses, not pleased with their foreheads, not pleased with their cheekbones, not pleased with their jowl lines, they're not pleased with the the boxing of their jaw, they're not pleased with their body at all, and they're allowed to go to plastic surgeons. Now, are they required to go stand in front of some psychologist, psychologist? I don't know. I don't think so. All they need is to plant down their $10,000 and they get a new set of chests, a new set of breasts, smaller, larger, perkier, happier. I don't know. Not one of those. But what we're really talking about is someone who's trying to produce their body in relation to their soul. But when we start to do that, people go ape shit and overboard about what people can and can't do with their own bodies. Now whose body is it, motherfucker? Do you have the right to imply your version of life on someone else's body? Do you have the right to take someone out of their life and ruin their life because of their body that you're not allowed to see because they never offered it to thee?